everyone and welcome back to the Breakdown Tech. Today I'm going to be talking about a $1,000, $1,025 to be exact, Twitch streaming PC build. You guys asked for it. I did a build on a $1,700 Twitch streaming PC and I would still recommend you going with that build over this build. You can check it out at the I up there to get more longevity out of your system. However, I understand that that's quite a bit of money and getting into Twitch streaming sometimes doesn't give a return for quite a while, so you want to keep your cost as low as possible. Well, this system is the bare bones you'll need to be able to stream at 1080p and play games at moderate settings. You're not going to be maxing games with this thing, guys. I would also recommend not having more than two 1080p monitors, like behind me, I've got two 1080p monitors, if you want to be able to stream with this system. It's similar to the one that I streamed with back in the day, but... It's a little bit better as far as the processor, some motherboard, and things like that. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. You can check out all these PC parts down below in the description, as well as like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That really does mean the world to us, guys. And share this video with your friends. If you know somebody who's getting into Twitch streaming, say, hey, this might be the PC for you. Shoot them the link. But anyway, what is this build? Well, starting out with a CPU, we're going with an Intel i7-8700K. Yeah, not skimping on the processor, and there's a reason for that. Twitch encoding, right? H.264 live encoding to Twitch is processor hungry. So it's important that we keep with that six core i7 and top of the line hardware when it comes to the processor. With that, we're going to need to cool this thing. So we're going with a Cooler Master Hyper T2 CPU cooler, budget CPU cooler. It's going to allow for a little overclocking. You're not going to be cranking five gigahertz out of this thing by any means, but it's going to get you a bit of overclocking if you want it. And I'd probably recommend it. Boosting it up to say four, 4.2 gigahertz isn't going to be anything crazy crazy with this build and it can help your Twitch streaming and performance quite a bit. Next, let's talk about the motherboard. We're going with the motherboard I've used before and that's the MSI Z370 Gaming Plus motherboard. This is a good motherboard. It's going to allow for up to 64 gigabytes of RAM in the future, something you will need to do as soon as possible, getting that RAM up to at least 32 gigabytes and I'm going to be talking about that next. But this system also allows for a graphics card and a capture card in the system if you want to use this later to stream games and have have another system for playing games, right? That's the perfect Twitch setup. So that's why I went with this system because later down the road, it can become your encoding Twitch streaming system and then you can have a separate system for gaming. An internal capture card can also allow for easier capture of say Xbox One, PS4 gameplay. So I wanted to uh, mention it here. It's not included in the price of the bill, but for a hundred bucks, you can get a really nice Blackmagic internal capture card for your system. Now let's talk about RAM. People freak out when I recommend one RAM stick. And the reason I'm doing it here is because I want you guys to buy two, but the thing is, if you buy two, that bumps this build up to 1100 ish dollars, if not maybe a little more, depending on where RAM prices fall. But you only need 16 gigabytes to barely skip by with Twitch streaming. You're not going to be able to have your chat open on your computer, probably barely going to make it by. So I would recommend buying two of these sticks, and I'm recommending 16 gigabytes of G Skill Aegis DDR4 RAM. You can buy another stick for about a hundred more dollars, bumping you up to. 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is really what you need for hardcore Twitch streaming. 16 gigabytes will get it done, but you're really going to need to upgrade to 32 for, you know, longevity and things like that. About a year from now, if you've not upgraded your RAM, you'll probably start to see some bottlenecking and some lag when it comes to streaming on Twitch. The rest of the system should be good for two to three years, but the RAM will need to be upgraded to 32 gigabytes. So uh, yeah, do that by just buying another 16 gigabyte G-Scale A just stick. Simple as that. For the hard drive, I would love to say we're throwing an SSD in this thing, but we're not. The budget just isn't there. So we're going with a one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue HDD drive. You guys know I love these things. I have them in both of my systems. Western Digital is the hard drive brand I swear by, and because of that, I'm recommending them here. You can check them out down below as well. So like I said, all the links in the description are down below, but this drive will serve you well, allow you to roll your OS onto it as well as stream off of it without any problems. I did it for years. Next, let's talk GPU. And I know this is where many Many of you are watching this video. Nick, what GPU do you buy now? Well, the answer is pretty simple. You buy used. And uh, I know people sometimes hate it when I recommend used graphics cards, but the thing is, guys, there's no flipping 
way to build a system for Twitch streaming right now with a good graphics card in it if you don't buy used. So what I'm recommending is a 980 Ti from NVIDIA, a GTX 980 Ti. It'll run you about $300 right now on eBay, but I would actually recommend buying a used one-off Craigslist. On Craigslist, you're gonna have a more of a local market and there's gonna be less demand on eBay. Everybody's going on eBay right now to buy these things. So look more local and try to find one on Craigslist in the uh, nearest big city near you. If you pay more than say $350, you've overpaid. So you're looking somewhere between the $300 and $350 price range for one of these. If you pay $350, you're getting a good deal. If you pay $300, you're getting a good deal. If you pay less than $300, you're getting a great deal. If you pay over $350, you're losing money. Not losing money, but not getting a great deal. They're burning you a little bit. Also, be careful. Make sure the component works before you buy it. And check out the eye up there, which is my How to Get Graphics Cards Cheap in 2018 video. It will show you everything you need to know about buying used hardware in 2018. I recommend this all the time, and that video has already helped tons of people buy used GPUs. They message me all the time. This video helped out. I bought a GPU, and you helped me from getting scammed. So go check that out. And uh, if you do all that and follow the tips in that video, guess what, guys? You'll be able to get yourself an awesome 980 Ti for just $350. So let's go ahead and wrap this thing on up. We still need a case and a power supply. And for the case, we're going with a Thermaltake Versa H21 Mid Tower case. Awesome, simple case, affordable case with a side window so you can look at your beautiful PC once it is built. So no reason not to get that there. And then for our power supply, we're going with a Cooler Master 550 watt, 80 plus bronze certified semi-modular power supply. I know people don't like semi-modular power supplies, but the thing is, guys, it's going to give you the cables you need. And just to be honest, this is a thousand dollar build and we're already spending $600 of it on our graphics card and our product. Processor. There was no way for me to bump up. Even that extra $20 makes a difference to go from a semi-modular to a modular power supply in this build. However, if you do want a modular power supply and you want to be in 100% control of all your cables, I will have an EVGA 550 watt link down below, but it is going to cost you more money. So you've got two options, the Cooler Master semi-modular or the EVGA fully modular. And there you guys have it. That is the $1,025. It actually came out at like $1,025 88 cents or something like that PC build for Twitch streaming in 2018. It's the most budget build I can confidently recommend guys without you going and buying a used system. If you go out and buy an entirely used system on eBay or Craigslist and then upgrade it, guess what? You're probably going to be able to get similar performance to this for about $750. So keep that in mind, but it does take a little bit more ingenuity. And if you don't know much about building PCs and PC parts, this system right here is probably the way to go. Nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. It really does mean the world to me. We're building this community out, building it back. It has been awesome. Thank you guys so much for the support. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I am out guys. Peace.